So let's say we have the pipeline and we want to run certain stages, even though let's say one of the stages failed. So let's say if this is failed, we want to run this. So what we are saying that we want to run a conditional deployment. So there is, we would like to have a condition specified here. So let's check that if the previous stage is failed, run this. If it is succeeded, skip this. So if that is the requirement, we how do we configure that? So basically we are asking here is how do we configure a conditional deployment? It's a conditional deployment is something which we are going to look at. So there are multiple ways you can specify the conditions with your Azure DevOps pipeline. You can specify the condition at the different stage level or you can specify the condition at the jobs level or even you can specify the condition at the steps level. So for example, I can specify the condition with the conditional property. You can use this conditions tag and you can use the different conditions available such as succeeded. There is a property available succeeded which we can use and you can find the detail about those here for example this is one of the attribute always this is one of the attribute if it will run only if it fails if the previous one failed this will run and you can also run the conditions like this so let's say this is what we want to do uh, you can also run the conditions by specifying succeeded what do you this means that succeeded everything previous to that and if you would like to say succeeded any specific steps you can specify like that for example here we are saying run this deploy next only if succeeded which is this particular job you can also specify some end conditions to that so let's say if I have a variable or the parameters specified here, which I can say name destroy. Okay. And value I would like to give the default as the true values true for this is my let's say destroy job. So, uh, what I'm saying here is only run the job if this is succeeded and all or destroy which is the name of my parameter has the true value so if it has a value true and this is succeeded it means I would like to run this job only if it is succeeded so we have a specified condition here and here let's run this as you can see here it's currently running the build stage build stage is completed because the build stage is succeeded then only it's running the deploy stage and then it has run the destroy stage as well because our default value for the destroys was for true so now let's say if i set the default value of my destroy from true to false which is this and now if i run it then i'm expecting this to run build and deploy but not to destroy so let's run that so let's look at that as you can see that it has run the build stage successfully it has run the deploy stage successfully because if you look at the result was false and then the when it comes to destroy stage the overall condition evaluation the result of the condition which is the end condition it is found false because the parameter value of the destroy parameter the value was false so false and 
true becomes false that's why the this particular destroy state becomes skip and you can see that this sign it means that it is skipped and this is the reason you can't expand that so this is how you can specify the conditions here everything is about the conditions with yaml is specified is given here you can use the so you can use the conditions like that into the individual steps you can see that this is where they have used the condition at this step level we can also have the conditions with and and within the end you can have uh, operators like equals and then within the equals you can specify if this equals that for example if you would like to compare any conditions with with the name of the branch for example so you can specify such conditions as well which is given here if you look at these are some more example of the same where you can specify and condition with not equal to operators and by comparing the value here is the equal to operator here we have the starts with operator and again we are starting with end condition end condition you can also have the just condition with the equals part and you can just some just compare the values of the equals part similarly we have condition with and and with equals uh, we are comparing a schedule there is another example where it has the value run if only if it is the variable is null this is a really this is really good documentation you can find it out uh, if you would like to specify any specific condition uh, with your yaml pipeline which you can use it i'll share the link of this document in the description i hope you have found this useful if it is please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video